And that brings us to the reason that we're here in the first place, which is that the graphics card needs to be soft. Right, so this has been attached many times to the other machine in the attempt to make it work. We've now just replaced the motherboard because the motherboard is way cheaper than replacing this thing. And the reason is that the chassis is attached by clips. Now it hits it here. And see if it's So with the old one, uh, what happened was the screws, you tighten it down too much and it pulls off the uh, connector from the uh, And on a similar mode, we can't be too easy about it. We don't actually have to connect to the mode. So, it has to be quite gentle. Which can't tell how much force you're putting on these things. So I'll we'll just do it like that. I do actually have hope that this will work because if we look at the old motherboard we can see some significant damage. Well, take a look right there. Now that just scares the crap out of me. Well, crazy things are happening. It's in 
I have a computer, uh, it even knows amazingly what time it is. I've seen the DVD drive. Um, um, power would be, put some on the chipset, SATA, auto, video, LED. Ah, oh, man, okay, we've got to get into Windows as quickly as we can. Um, because we need to get um, CPU temperature up. So the cost of a new video card for this thing would have sent me back $580. The cost of a new motherboard, which is a much harder thing to replace, was $170. You can see why I attempted this first. And both the, um, both the CPU and the graphics uh, processor have been coated with Ceramic. Um, well, the graphics processor has been attached and detached from the heating every time. It's, it's kind of just how it works. Um, I even shaved off some of the, the heat sink compound. Uh, there's me, 65918. Um, I've been able to get into Windows before. The boot, it would boot occasionally. Uh, but you would kind of have to put force on the um, on the graphics card to get it to work. And you know, maybe that worked, maybe it didn't. Hi, Death Clock. Um, and then when I did get into Windows, I would probably have, you know, five minutes before things just exploded on me. Oh, this is looking like a smash in the system. Well, temperatures. So this is a CPU Z window open. Just want to point out, you can see how I, where I've hacked uh, the opacer part actually from, uh, um, which came supplied by PC Talk with the computer. I think I actually found found it. The, uh, speed down to cast 2.5 just so it matched the OCZ part so I can get the the full um, uh, memory bus bang. I've loaded up RM clock which is a sweet little application there um, by Rightmark and this is just a free version. Okay. You can see my core temperature is apparently all over the place. That's bizarre. Anyway I think we can assume um, they were at 45 degrees Celsius, which isn't too bad, uh, especially given that the GPU temperature is, you can see it over on the right there, up at 55. Now, bear in mind that when I've been playing uh, Age of Conan before, GPU temperature has skyrocketed up to over uh, 100 degrees Celsius, which is why I am put the ceramic on it. Um, I hate it when that happens because it at high temperatures it will automatically scale back. Um, 